Good morning. I'm in the middle of moving to a new room, but there's something I found that I wanted to make a video on. There's a possible problem with the Elegoo Neptune 2S. If we take a look underneath. So recently I've been playing with the power supply fan and I've been moving it around a lot. And I noticed that underneath here, if we take a closer look, we can see that we've got a sharp edge over here. And then I think you can just, you can see there's a little bit of wear out starting to happen on my cables. And that got me worried a bit because I've seen before sharp edges slice through thicker wires than this before. It's just a matter of getting the right timing and just slicing through. So I think it's a little bit better to fix this before something actually happens. I designed a cover for the cutout in Fusion 360. I'm still trying to get used to designing in Fusion, but I'm making some progress and it's getting easier. I try to make the design as clean as possible and have smooth edges to prevent any possible trouble. And also it's able to print out fairly quickly. I printed at a layer height of 0 0.2 millimeters, but I could print it out in about 20 minutes uh, with no infill walls only. So there is a slight hollow point right in the center. You can feel the walls squish a little bit together if you push on it, but it doesn't break. So the final product is fairly simple. We can take a closer look at it. This one is my first prototype and actually it doesn't, it didn't print out as I expected. I had to redesign it. So there should be another kind of hangover here, same as we have on the front. And then the bottom also has a little bit of hangover so it sits in place nicely. So we've got basically just three walls. Here we have some cutouts for the aluminum extrusion in case we want to be able to run wires into the extrusion still. A little bit of a border to cover up any gaps. I tried to create this a little bit smaller than needed because I think the cut is not really exactly precise. So we need a little bit of extra tolerance. Maybe we don't need support, I think, but I printed with some support to hold up the edge. The orientation is like this. And then the important part to get some support is on this little tab here. So just a little bit of support to hold it in place because finally this tab is going to snap into the extrusion. These little tabs here on the sides, when we put the cable inside, it expands a little bit. Then these tabs will help hold it in place also. One thing I did notice is that I have these artifacts here. So right where the tabs are, it becomes very noticeable that something strange is going on and I don't know what that's from. It's pretty easy to install. The only issue that I had was this cable tie here was not clipped. So I didn't notice it wasn't clipped. And when I was trying to insert the piece, it was getting stuck. So just take care of this first. And then all that we have to do is just lift up the cables a little bit, slide this underneath. Once you get it all the way to the back, you can just pinch a little bit here, push it down. And the very front, the very front here will probably be able to snap into place. This one doesn't snap. Okay, there we go. Now it's snapped into place up at the front. And that's it. It's very, very basic. And then since there's a cutout for the aluminum extrusion, what we can actually do is we can run the power cable through here and clean it up. Just kind of fits inside. Later on, I'll download an STL and print out a cover for this.
And that's it. It's actually a short video this time. So I will upload and link the STL files for this if you want to print it out for yourself. If you're going to be moving your printer around, it's definitely nice to do, I think. If you're going to keep your printer in one place, then you might not have any trouble, but why take the risk? Thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. We're getting near 100 now, which is the first target. If you found this video helpful, please push the like button. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.